Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking Android phone. It is from a company called Yumidigi and it is modeled A9. Now this version is global band. Yes, it will work anywhere around the world. And I have to mention that with the screen size of 6.53, which is a little bit bigger than the A9 Pro, this will take you to where you're really looking for. It comes with infrared thermometer. It comes with OS 11. It's also a bigger battery in it, which is 5150 milliamps. And also comes with three gigabyte of RAM, 64 gig internal storage, and the beautiful part is the actual chip in it is Helio G25, which is an octo core. Also comes with 13 megapixel camera. We will cover that in a few seconds. It is compatible and working with 4G network. So let's go through and see what's involved in it. And I don't want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all. That way you will be notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. You can see that the box is really, really simple just white and also have some marking in the back and once we slowly cut the back and we take everything out of it one by one here are all the components that are part of the box it comes with this envelope you will see the sim card slot opener and then you will get this nice user manual but you can see that it is really thick and it has a lot of options in it now it also comes with this wire and it looks exactly the same as the old phone so i do not have to open that you can see that it has their name really nicely engraved and also on the other side it is just usb 2.0 but it is going to usb type c and the wires are always colored red that's what make them stand out it also comes with this power adapter itself. Now this is 5 volt 2 amp and it has their name. Now going around it is just have a little plastic around it in a shrink wrap. So this way this is not going to be disturbed or scratched. But you can see the connector is made for Canada and United States. Now when you're ordering yours from wherever you're going to order it from, they will send you a proper plug for this. And here is the actual phone. Now it has a nice film on the top. But you can see that this is already coming with a screen protector that you can just take out the top part. And there you go. Now it looks beautiful and nice and perfect. Now going around, it comes with a nice plastic and that is the actual cover. So they always make sure that it has a screen protector and also cover on top. So this is the actual cover and this just silicone cover that comes with it you can buy different ones yes but i really like this because if you have a color printer you can print something on an actual size you can size it by going to their website and it will tell you so you can print and then you can cut the little parts using a proper exacto knife something like this and that way you will be able to place it in the back and your phone will have better customization for the back on your phone so this is how this one looks and on top of that when you look in the back you have another sticker but let's just take this little sticker off too oh that's so satisfying and now it looks beautiful i know the color is nice too it is all black and the way that they have made it and you can see that the way the back is designed Whatever you do, it does not accept your fingerprint, which I really like. Now you can see the phone is really nicely designed. I really like the way that they have put everything together. Now looking on one side of it, you have the power button in the bottom, and then you have the volume up and down right above that. Now going on the top part of it, yes, you have a headphone jack. A lot of phones missing it these days, but they have entered it for you. Now there is a little plus sign about that. There is a little app that you can use so you can listen to FM radio using that headset jack. Going on the other side of it, you have a SIM card slot and also right underneath of it, you have the shortcut button. In the bottom from the left hand side, you can see there is a little hole for your mic. And then right beside that, you have the USB Type-C connection. Right beside that, you have little holes and those are your speaker. 
Looking in the back part of it is the best part of this phone, which is holding the 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, 13 megapixel main camera, which is going with f1.8, also DAP camera, which is 2 megapixels. If you look on the other side of it, you have dual LED flash and your infrared so you can check your temperature. Right underneath of it is your fingerprint sensor. Now when we flip the phone itself to the front and near to the top, you can see it doesn't have that much bezel and you can see the actual camera, but it has that little cut around the camera and the screen is not going over it. But then going on the bottom part of it, the bezel is a little bit thicker and bigger in the bottom, but it is not as big as before. So it is really nicely cut and placed properly for you. Now I have to mention the best feature, which is that this phone can support two 4G SIMs. And on top of that, it has a dedicated micro SD slot, which can read up to 256 gigabyte. Now, the first thing we want to do is to go through and check that what type of numbers we got out of this. So what we done is we went through Geekbench and the number that we got for single core is 145. And for the multi-core, we received 785, which is a not bad number for this type of chipset. Now, remember that what type of RAM it has and how much storage it has, it will be some up and downs to it. Now, the next thing that we have done is going to AIDA64. Now, once you go to it and you click on system, you will get some really cool numbers. Now, you can see that the name is written as A9 and also going to the hardware, it is MT6762. The product name is there. Now, installed RAM, it is 3 gigabyte of RAM and internal storage is 64 gigabyte. How much is available and how much has been used? Bluetooth on this is Bluetooth 5.0. And going under CPU, you will be able to see that this is using the MediaTek Helio G25, which is a really powerful CPU for these type of phones. Even it is better than the predecessor of this is A9 Pro. This one is running on octo core processor and you can see all of the cores that are running and the ones that are sleeping it is running on 64 bit arm and going down all of them are there now the best thing is that it will show you exactly how much it is running so it is not really going on a really high rate it is minimized and that's why you can see that it is not going to heat up because of it now the next thing is the actual display. It is running on 720p maximum. Now the DPI on this is 269, which is really good for resolution. And the fresh rate is 60 Hertz and the OpenGL is 3.2, which it can run all of the games on this flawless. We will show you in a few seconds. Now battery capacity on this is a different place. You can see the maximum capacity is 5150 milliamps, which is going to last you good for two days if you're just going to use it for phone purposes and just some browsing. But if you're going to play some video game, this will last you roughly about five hours full charge. Now you can see that the battery itself running really cool and it is not going to heat up that much. Now I have to mention that one of the best parts and the best feature about this phone is that it is running Android 11. And also the API on this is 30. The security patch is not that far back. You can see it's from December. And also going down, you have more information here that you can check. All of the information you require for your cameras are going to be here. So you do have some facing cameras and some rear cameras. So the resolution on one of them is 13 megapixel. We're going to cover this in a few seconds anyways. We're going to show you and we're going to talk about it. But you can see for the video, you can get up to 1080p video. But for your resolution on your picture, you can take up to 4K picture. Now under Kodaks, you do have your VP9, VP8, MPEG4. All of them is going to be here, the H263, 64, and all is going to be written right here. So that means is your video is going to be nice and crisp. Now, when it comes to speed tests for your Wi-Fi, we can go to our speed test app, which is done by Okla. When you go to the results, I already ran it twice. And as you can see, I got 63.9 for the first time. That's our download rate and then 31.7 for the second. Now this one is for the upload. So for some reason, because this is a mesh network, it dropped it to 2.4 and that's why I'm getting less than 100 megabit right now. Now going for the second time, I have 65.8 and 27 for my upload rate. Now this depends exactly when you're going to run a test. So let's do it right now. 
So here you go. Now we are connected as a regular connection. So this is going to be 5G. Let's see if we can reach over 100 megabit by just going through this. And yes, we are. You can see that, that it right now goes over 200 and now 280, 290, 300. You can see that, that it does the job perfectly for you when you're connected to a 5G network. It's really good when you are getting a really good number. It, you do not know the feeling. It's beautiful. So now you can see that we are exceeding our number for our upload rate. So this is how it is done in order to get you proper internet on your phone using your Wi-Fi. Now another goodie that they have is this little shortcut button on the side or if you tap it twice it will bring the temperature reader. So this way you can bring your hand in the back or your forehead and you have to press it one time and you have to be about three centimeter away from it and it will read your temperature very easily. So right now the screen is locked as you can see. So there's two ways that you can unlock it. Number one is your face recognition. As soon as you face it towards you and as soon as it sees, it unlocks. That's one way. Another way is when you lock it, you have a fingerprint sensor in the back. And once you click on it, you can see the main screen. Yep, don't drop it. And then you hold the back. And if you hold the back a few seconds, there you go. Now it just unlocks. So that's how easy it is to unlock with the fingerprint sensor in the back. As long as you have an account with Netflix, you just have to install it, click on it, and it just goes in like this. And then you can go through to play your video very nicely and very fast. Now remember that if you are going to use your network itself, it will be taking some data. But if you are going to be connected to the internet via Wi-Fi, beautiful it will play it for you quickly remember that the resolution on this phone is 720p so the actual resolution on this screen is not going to go over another good part is it is compatible with disney plus you just have to sign into it and then you can play with it very easily and it will play the videos the movies and also the little clips that they have perfectly on this phone now another really cool feature with this phone is that when you are in youtube so there you go this is one of our videos what you can do is you can see these black lines on the side if you zoom in you can make it full screen so this way it is not going to bother you and you can see this fully again it just gets rid of a little bit from the top and the bottom but you can do this very easily and you can play with it so that is something really cool so here's a test for the actual sound recorder to see exactly how we will pick up our voice when we are testing it and that means it's, it's going to be the same when you are on a speakerphone and you want to talk to someone on the phone. So let's start it now. We're going to click on it. So here you go. The sound is started. Recording it starts now. So this is how it sounds when you're talking on the phone to someone. And this is how clear it will be when you're talking. Doesn't matter if it is a little bit far from you like mine right now or if it is very, very near to your mouth. This is how it's going to sound to be accurate. And we will stop now. Now in this test, we will see how loud the phone itself for the speaker, which is right here, will get. So for that, we're going to test it with our tester. All right, so let's go through. So this is the loudest it can get. Now, when it comes to an actual camera, when you turn it on, this is the options you will see. So let's just flip it a little bit so that way we can see it a lot better that we do have beauty and then we have video, picture, and then portrait and extra. So you can just select it by just rolling it to it and then you will be able to see everything on the screen. So let's go one by one and check it out to see how good this is. Now, before we get there, let's flip it on the side and then you have a little settings button. When you click on that, all right, so let's just zoom in a little bit so this way you can see this. Now it starts from location, you can turn it off if you don't wanna know exactly where you took the picture. Also, if you wanna see some lines when you're taking pictures, you can turn it on except that one touch capture that means is when you press one time it should take a picture 
and then going down a little bit you do have the self timer you can turn it off right now and under picture resolution or picture size you can see that right now it is set up under 4x3 when you click on it it changes and then you can set it up to go even higher so you can see the last part is on 2 megapixel which is roughly about 4k which is beautiful so you can switch it to that or you can put it here let's go back to it and there you go now this is a really good quality for 16 by 9 that is 9 megapixel or you can change it to 4 by 3 which is up to 13 megapixel or 13 megabyte each picture that will be we're going to change it to 9 and we're going to leave it here so this way we will take a really good picture now that's not the only thing you can put a watermark on or take the watermark off we will leave it off we don't really need that going on the bottom is the Z SD you can turn it off and that way it has a little timer to it so you can take a picture in a few seconds also you can turn the sound off when you're taking a picture it makes a little click noise and you can leave that on or off and also anti shake so this way when you leave it on when your hand is shaking it will be actually taking the picture without that shakiness or without putting any blurriness to your picture now going back out now when you get out this is how your camera will look remember before we had a little line which was all black in the bottom now it shows it a lot better so now when you go to beauty mode and now you can see it a lot better so now it talks about the enlarged eyes so it makes it a little bit bigger and also it can make you thin also it says whitening and buffing so that way it shows uh, little wrinkles will be taken off from your face using these here are all the options that is part of this as you can see the video quality right now is set up under 1080p here you go so these are the setting quality by by default it is set up under 1080p but you can change it to 720p you can change it to 480p or even as low as 288 which is about 300 megapixels i really like it on 1080p because we are going to make a beautiful video and also on top of that the microphone is on so that means it will pick up your voice when you are recording now another feature that they have is location and grid lines which you're taking video it is going to be really nice if you have it and if you're very new to videotaping that you want to make sure that your video is right in the middle and not on a corner so even if it is in a corner you got to make sure that it is on a proper line and you're not going to have that much stuff out of your focus and the picture will come really nice all right so you can see right now we just have our regular little car over here we're going to grab our camera and we're going to film it now this is 1080p film so it will be full screen but we're going to show you exactly how good of a quality you will get once we are filming so we will start from the side right here and then we will go around and show you exactly how good this will look when you are looking at it so you can see right now my hand is running so we will be making this a little bit smaller on a corner for you to see exactly what we're moving but this is how nice it is to videotape with this camera and we will stop now the next thing i wanted to capture was actual pictures now when you are taking pictures it will be different so what we will do is once we have it here for the actual picture we will press a picture and this is what type of quality you're getting on the actual screen so if i have to flip it on the other side and take another picture we're going to see exactly how good this is now remember that you do have a zoom so that is another really cool thing that when you go to a zoom how good of a quality will get so we will just try to zoom in a little bit inside or near to the actual window as you can see right now we will take a picture this is how good quality it will show so it is just half two little parts that you can zoom with so this is the wide angle picture that you can take so you can see that my finger shows up right away but now when we try to put it there you go so once you go here we can take a picture and it, this is how good it will look it takes a couple of seconds for you to take a picture properly in a wide angle so that is really cool too so if we go near this is how warped it will look when you are very very near to it and i'm trying to see if i can focus and there's no focus to it so now we can take a picture and this is how good it will look now if i have to change this to portrait mode this is how nice it will look but now you have a little part that you can 
go to dimmer or lighter so this way it will get rid of the focus from certain part of the actual car and the best part is it says extra now under extra you have a few more options you can go to pro mode or you can go to night mode so this way you can take pictures so if you go to pro mode now this is preloaded but if you click on this now you will be able to fix your aperture and also you can see the temperature changes and also you can go back here so you can see it better and then you can also change your ISO it goes up to 1600 ISOs which is really cool and also now you can fix the darkness and also the light you can see that it is totally made it white so there's not much of pixels that you can see it's all going to be mushed out as a white there you go see the whole background is gone now you can do that same thing that you can dark it up as much as possible so you can take pictures now if you are in a really low light you will be able to take a perfect pictures with this camera so as i'm doing it right now let's just make it a little bit darker take a picture this is how it looks and then when you make it lighter and you take a picture this is how it looks so this camera will give you the effect that you're really looking for now that's not only thing there is a little feature here that you can click on and you can turn on the actual flashlight and then when you take a picture did you see that it just flash now that wasn't really in focus so now if i have to tap it takes a couple of seconds and it takes a picture right away that is a really cool thing so you can turn it off if you don't really need it and that's about it for the camera itself so this is a little game that we want to play. Now, trying to focus playing game and talking is really hard. So we're trying to focus so we can get the points and we could play this nicely and try to see exactly what is happening with the smaller screen. There you go. We always play this with Android boxes a little bit different. Yeah, we just missed that. Now, in conclusion, I have to mention that this phone will grab your 4G network. Yes, not 3G, but actual 4G. And it works with dual SIM at the same time with 4G network. On top of that, the micro SD, as I mentioned before, it can accept only up to 256 gigabyte. All the links will be available where you can order it from, except that I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. It has a lot of information in there, jam pack. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.